Deep within the unexplored reaches of eastern Australia, in the shadows of dense forests and winding rivers, roams a creature. So enigmatic and elusive, unlike anything the world has ever seen. This egg-laying, duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed, highly venomous mammal seems like it was plucked from the pages of a mythological tale. And while it may seem like an impossibility, this creature is very much real, standing as one of the least understood organisms on the planet. A mystery waiting to be solved. Meet the mythical creature of legend and lore, the Duckbill Platypus. The Duckbilled Platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, is a remarkably unique semi aquatic mammal that hails from the eastern regions of Australia, including Tasmania. Despite the existence of various related species in the platypus's fossil record, this semi-aquatic marvel reigns supreme as the only surviving member of its family, Ornithorhynchidae, as well as its genus, Ornithorhynchus. Interestingly, its name, Platypus, stems from the creature's uniquely flat feet, and it stands out amongst its peers as one of the only five existing mammalian species that lay eggs instead of giving birth to young, known as monotremes. Being one of the weirdest creatures to ever grace the Earth, this egg-laying mammal with an appearance so bizarre it left European naturalists scratching their heads in wonder, who upon examining a preserved platypus body in 1799 deemed it a fraud, cobbled together from various animals. Some went so far as to suggest that a beaver-like creature had been outfitted with the bill of a duck. In their skepticism, they even took scissors to the dried skin to verify that there were no stitches present on it. And due to such rarity, Platypus, along with other monotremes, remains a puzzling enigma to scientists despite years of tireless research. The oldest known fossil of the modern platypus hails from the Quaternary period, dating back roughly 100,000 years ago. While genetic analysis of these elusive creatures has revealed that over 80% of their genes are shared with other mammals, their DNA also contains a plethora of reptilian elements. Furthermore, the platypus genome harbors two genes that were previously thought to be exclusive to birds amphibians, and fish, suggesting a potential connection between the sex determination systems of these diverse animal groups. But it's not only the genetic makeup of the platypus that is a remarkable amalgamation of the five groups of living beings, but also, obviously, its appearance bears witness to this fact. Its duck-like bill, beaver-like tail, and otter-like feet, all shrouded in a thick, lustrous coat of brown biofluorescent fur serve as a true testament to the genetic interweaving of all life on our planet. Additionally, the fur can emit a mystical bluish-green color under the dark of night, and it's capable of trapping insulating air to keep the platypus warm in chilly waters. To aid them in their aquatic escapades, the platypus boasts prominent webbing on its front paws, expertly folded back when treading on land. Additionally, its elongated snout and lower jaw are covered with a delicate layer of skin which seamlessly forms the iconic bill. An average individual of this rare species can weigh from 1.9 to 5.5 pounds and have a total length of 17 to 20 inches, while males, known for their substantial size, surpass their female counterparts. What's even more fascinating is that, despite sharing numerous body systems with mammals, these creatures defy expectations with an average body temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit rather than the typical 99 degrees Fahrenheit found in placental mammals. This unique adaptation is as a result of the gradual acclimation to the unforgiving environmental conditions as a survival tactic for the small number of remaining monotreme species, including the platypus. Similarly, while placental mammals rely on teeth for chewing, the platypus takes a different approach. As adults, they possess keratinized pads known as keratodontes, which they use to expertly grind their food. However, this platypus starts out with three teeth in each maxilla as a youngling but these teeth are lost shortly after leaving the breeding burrow, and they eventually develop the same caratodontes as their parents. Although primarily nocturnal, platypus are known to be active during the twilight hours and even during the day, especially when the sky is overcast. Moreover, these enigmatic animals don't rely on sight or smell to feed and hunt. Despite its small, hagfish-like eyes that dutifully shuts along its ears and nose each time it takes the plunge. Instead, the platypus possesses a remarkable ability for electroreception, a unique sense that allows them to detect electric fields generated by the muscular movements of prey. 
Equipped with electro-receptors on its bill, the platypus can expertly distinguish between animate and inanimate objects, honing in on prey with incredible accuracy. To witness the full extent of their electro-reception, scientists conducted a fascinating experiment using an artificial shrimp with an electric current in it. To their amazement, the platypus reacted to the artificial shrimp as if it were a real thing. And that's due to the fact that the platypus has the most sensitive electroreception of any monotreme, making it the only mammal apart from the guinea dolphin to exhibit such a remarkable characteristic. And during the search for prey, it can employ its electroreception to determine the direction of any electric source, utilizing differences in signal strength across its electroreceptor-laden sheet. Being a voracious carnivore, its diet consists of annelid worms, insect larvae, freshwater shrimp, and even the elusive freshwater yabby. With a skilled use of its snout, this creature digs deep into the riverbed, unearthing a bounty of treats. And if that weren't impressive enough, it's equally adept at catching prey while gracefully swimming through the water, utilizing its cheek pouches to carry its catch to the surface for consumption. In a mesmerizing video captured at a sanctuary, a captive platypus takes on a big blue yabby hiding behind a rock. The platypus dives down, sensing the muscular movements of the yabby through its electromagnetic signals, and it draws nearer and nearer. At last, the platypus zeroes in on the yabby's location and with lightning speed snatches up its bill. The yabby, now caught on the platypus's grip, can be seen shaking and wriggling in a desperate attempt to break free. However, undeterred, the platypus triumphantly swims back to the surface with the yabby in tow. But this yabby may not be enough, because to satiate its appetite, the platypus needs to consume an impressive 20% of its own weight every day. To achieve this, the platypus spends a grueling 12 hours a day scouring its surroundings in search of food. Despite their rarity and elusiveness, the platypus is not invincible in the face of danger. Predators like crocodiles, goannas, and predatory birds are also known to hunt these creatures. In response to threats, platypuses have been observed emitting a low growl and a range of other vocalizations to warn off potential attackers. But their most potent weapon lies in their ability to deliver venom. Composed of defensin-like proteins, or DLPs, produced by their immune system, this venom serves as a powerful deterrent against potential attackers. Although both male and female platypuses are born with angle spurs, it's only the males who possess the ability to deliver venom. While the venom isn't strong enough to overpower larger predators like crocodiles and goannas, it can certainly inflict damage and help the platypus fend off these formidable foes. Similarly, the venom is not fatal to humans, but its excruciating pain is enough to incapacitate even the toughest of us. In one instance, an intrepid naturalist was stung while studying the elusive male platypus in the wild. The pain that he felt was immediate and it was intense, rendering the traditional first aid analgesics to be absolutely useless. The victim spent a harrowing six days in the hospital, and he suffered from rapidly spreading oedema that severely impacted his hand for three months. But such cases are very rare. The platypus is generally known for its peaceful demeanor and aversion to human conflict. These creatures are quite shy by nature, preferring to steer clear of confrontation whenever they can. But amongst their own kind, a dramatic shift occurs. When the Australian winter months of June and October roll around, male platypuses experience a surge of hormones that drives them to fight ferociously over potential mates. With their testes swelling to impressive sizes, they engage in brutal battles locking their legs around each other and using sharp spurs to stab and inject potent venom into their opponent again and again. The defeated male is left paralyzed while the victor claims his prize. Being a remarkably enigmatic creature, the platypus has a unique reproductive strategy too. As a polygonandrous species, both males and females have multiple partners and males can care for the broods of several females. After mating, when the female is ready to give birth, she takes matters into her own hands and burrows into the ground to create a secluded and safe nesting spot. Here, she lays one or two eggs to keep them warm and cozy between her rump and tail until they hatch after a brief period of about 10 days. The rare duck-billed platypus faces the greatest threat of all, the loss of its natural habitat. In times past, Aboriginal Australians and Europeans hunted these fascinating creatures for their fur and meat with their fatty tails prized for their nutritional value though it was later prohibited by law in 1912. While the exact population count of the platypus remains a mystery, it's clear that this rare species is in grave danger. Despite being classified as near-threatened on the IUCN Red List, 
Its numbers have declined by a significant 30% since European settlement. Yet, conservation efforts have been effective in preserving the immediate demise, but the platypus remains vulnerable to disruptions in its environment caused by human activities. For us, we can only hope that this unique species perseveres through the challenges that it faces so that we can, well, we can continue to marvel at the wonders of the strange life that has graced our planet. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.